I'm trying to figure out how to approach this one. Because <laughs> this is a brand new realization for me, okay? And um, I think I'm just going to free ball it. I'm just going to go and explain this. It's all connected to everything that's happening right now with the stock market, with the theme I've been covering. Um, I just want to remember, remind everyone when I... When I'm discussing the Fibonacci to you, I have made a, the very first video that explains the point. I found that the Fibonacci is in the book of Revelation in Genesis. And so I'm looking at the sequence of events in the Bible as a skeletal structure of the, of the way history repeats on earth. And if we can see um, events of our time lining up with these recorded bits of history in the Bible for whatever reason they're in there and however they are and whether the stories are true or not there's still history recorded in a certain way and um, if it can help us now navigate the paradigm change which I believe is what the Bible is talking about so if we can see that we're coming up on these choice points these points in history where we can make a higher choice or lower choice for life or against life and so with this topic of GameStop and what's happening and the topic of silver and the corporations and all of this made me go back to study it this morning and I found something I never seen before ever. So in the account with Daniel, with that image of the man, that statue is of a man. And so first of all, the Bible itself tells Nebuchadnezzar he symbolizes the head so we know that in one way the image represents the concentration of power in government but then the image is also made of metal precious metals gold and silver and bronze and iron which is a concentration of wealth and then the feet it's it says were mixed of potter's clay okay and iron and at the time in history that it gets to where the the clay and the iron are mixed together this stone is cut not with human hands and strikes the feet and the entire thing is pulverized and dispersed so it's like the the redistribution of power and wealth around the whole world so in reading it I went oh potter's clay it didn't say just clay it said that the iron feet the feet where the toes were the ten toes was mixed with potter's clay and i went oh my goodness because the silver that judas you know was t you know he betrayed his trust he betrayed his morality he he betrayed his integrity he betrayed his friends he betrayed jesus for money okay and a potter's field was purchased. So then I looked at the word, and it turns out this particular word, potter's clay, in Daniel, that particular one is only one time in the entire Old Testament. Maybe the word clay and pottery is there, but this particular, only one time. And then the potter's field, and the word, that word is also only like three times in the New Testament. Okay, that's a major, major connection. Okay, not a little connection here. So take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. And how can we see the metaphor? And how can we see the pattern? What is happening organically? Remember that it's about an organic process. And so what is happening? There is an awakening within our society of millions of people who have looked at the injustice, looked at the concentration of power, looked at the corruption of the concentration of power and wealth, which are like giants plundering the world. Very similar to, again, when the Israelites, at Noah, Noah's, they said that there was giants, which was a paradigm changing moment. Then when the Israelites entered the promised land, again, paradigm changing moment, it said there was giants in the land. David fought Goliath, who was a giant. Okay, so you see the pattern, the pattern. 
okay the symbol the symbol of these giant edifices then the giant image in Daniel getting our attention to look at what matches up in our day to the equivalence of giants it's this I think it's this so now the next thing is the stone okay so this pebble it says in Revelation that the believer receives a white pebble with a new name on it that he alone knows which I think is absolutely a reference to this awakening process to our sovereignty to our perception of who we are and what we are and our potential of what we can be so now going back to the image and the potter's clay Judas sold he sold his integrity okay and what's happening with this these stocks is these little people have got not I mean some people are selling and that's okay but the the principle of it is these who knows millions tens of thousands thousands I don't know how many people are holding their stock and are not selling for a different reason that's higher than just money they are holding to an integrity because they want justice they want fairness they want honesty to prevail in our society and they potentially are bringing down some giants powerful and so the potter's clay if we can link that back to a human being who is like Adam made of clay but there is this seed that's been planted that we can link to Christ's integrity Christ's consciousness you know to live for more than just ourselves, to care to care about other people to care about what's happening on earth okay this could be it this literally could be the moment where the potter's clay is separating from the iron because the iron is still a, the part that is connected to the non-living constructs of wealth and government whereas the potter's clay represents the 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 component of humanity that has heart that has the capacity for love that has the capacity to care m about more than just power and money at the expense of life because Judas sold out life he sold out Jesus life so the silver the precious metals everything okay linking back to the other video I made it's all it's all really it's connected and if it's connected this is going to be an unstoppable event it's just going to organically blossom and people who have this flicker of hope inside of them that they cannot explain but they know they know they know that a better future is possible just like when those articles of silver and gold were put on the children of the Israelites when they went out because they believed that that even in the darkest hour we believe it's possible to have a better future hmm. there's so much inside of me right now that I want to tell you that I seen in my mind I seen it my friends for a flash I seen it <sighs> it's coming it's happening I kind of want to share something personal with you too um, it's because it's a piece of silver that I have that I think is kind of appropriate for me to share with you right now 
This is a medal that's made of pure silver that was given to me a few years ago. And it con it's called the Meritus Service Medal, MSM. And it's given to civilians. And it's a branch of the, you could say the military. It is from the queen. Don't hold that against me. <laughs> Sorry. And, um, but it's sort of like when the civilian fights the good fight. Okay. When we, we believe in a cause, we believe in doing something to make the world a better place. And that, that's why I got this medal. And ironically, it's made of silver. And I was reflecting on that today. And I just thought, wow, I got to share this. I got to share this with you. Sorry.